So happy Friday, church. Congratulations on making it through another week, being that it's Friday night. And uh, I guess more importantly, uh -huh. congratulations. Yeah, uh -huh. he's saying good job. But more importantly, congratulations on getting through um, uh -huh. literally a year ago this time is when the world kind of started to fall apart, right? What we knew as normal life started to feel very, very different. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. this upcoming Sunday uh -huh. is... Yep, and our house, a lot has changed in a year. Um, but this upcoming Sunday is a year ago, the last Sunday that we actually got together in person to worship before we went remote. And I guess for, for me, if I'm being honest with you, I have struggled big time in this last year. I, I tend to struggle with self-confidence. Um, Probably more than I lead along. I, I struggle and have struggled with uh, feeling depressed over the last year. I have struggled to feel motivated. I have struggled to uh, be energetic for this guy and to put a smile on my face when he wants to play and um, at least kind of you know, be motivated to do all that. And I guess for me in my, my times of, of struggle, my times of doubt, you know, it's, it's kind of the easy answer is to, to turn to the scripture. And the easy answer is to turn to God. Because um, a lot of times in life, it doesn't feel that way. It doesn't feel like uh, it helps. It doesn't feel like it does anything, at least in the moment. But what uh, we talked about on Sunday, um, that Sam talked about, um, specifically in Hebrews. And it was one of the questions on taking it home this week where, I'm just going to read it to you. So in Hebrews 10, starting at verse 19, says this, And so, dear brothers and sisters, we can boldly enter heaven's most holy place because of the blood of Jesus. By his death, Jesus opened a new and life-giving way through the curtain into the most holy place. And since we have a great high priest who rules over God's house, let us go right into the presence of God with sincere hearts, fully trusting him. For our guilty consciences have been sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean, and our bodies have been washed with pure water. So the question, I don't remember honestly which one it is, but it's asking for, or what we think of our guilty consciences and what that means and what the rest of that verse means, being sprinkled with, sprinkled with Christ's blood to make us clean and our bodies to be washed with pure water. I know my guilty conscience when I read this, it's every day I wake up and I think my sinful side and my sinful nature tells me not to be motivated to do the things that I'm called to do. Um, I feel more inclined to be lazy. I feel more inclined to not go the extra step. I feel, feel more inclined to um, kind of space out my brain instead of focusing on what God has called me to do, both as a worship director, as a father, as a husband. And I tend to feel like going the lazy route. And that's where our worship is vital. That's where our worship time together um, is so important. And we have learned that firsthand in our house that even when we were remote, our times every single week of worshiping, whether it was recording for you on Sunday nights or our worship whoa. Wednesdays, whoa, right. Um, those were so vital in our house because worship is so, so, so very important. So we don't give in to our, what does it say, our guilty conscience, our evil conscience, because our sinful nature when we wake up every day, is to be a little bit more lazy. It is to um, not do good and uh, uh, cause more harm than good, especially for, for the kingdom, right? And so one of the songs we're singing on Sunday has been one, at least back in my life, uh, when I really had times of struggle, has always brought a little bit of hope, a little bit of peace, and always gets me kind of right down in, into the gut. And um, it goes a little something, the words go, I lift my hands to believe again. You are my refuge and you are my strength. And as I pour out these things, I remember that you, God, are faithful forever. So let my faith arise and open my eyes. Let my faith arise. Let hope, your hope, arise. And so when we worship this weekend, church, don't give in to your guilty conscience. Whoa. Don't give in to laziness. Um, be strong. Let loose and let the Spirit of God in our worship build you up. Let the people of God, when we worship, build you up. Because we, we, we need a little bit of that. And if there's, again, anything we've learned in the last year, that those moments are extremely important and vital for who we are as believers.
and we'll see you Sunday. You got anything else to say? You want to wave? No? You want to blow a kiss? There you go. We'll see you Sunday.